Terrence Crawford defeats Madramov. I think I'm saying his name right, but um, pretty good fucking fight. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I think the whole card was awesome. Um, so I watched just the last three fights: and the Reese fight, Pitbull fight, and then the the Terrence Crawford fight, and and they were awesome, bro. So I was very happy, and I'm pretty sure the fighters got paid real well. So uh, kudos to everyone involved with this uh card and uh you know big shout out to turkey al Kaj because he's making this shit happen throwing money to the fighters to get in there and fucking fight each other like how it needs to be done so uh big big uh shout out to them and as far as the fight i, I thought this fight was going to be a lot more one-sided man i think Madrimov or Madr yeah Madrimov, Mad Madrimov. this is his 11th pro fight over 300 uh, amateur fights if that's uh what i heard correctly but, um, yeah, I, I was like Terrence Crawford should uh, walk this guy down, beat his ass, maybe knock him out, and uh, call out Canelo. But after this fight, um, you know, and, and for Madrimov, you got to think this is his biggest fight in his life. You know, he's fighting Terrence Crawford in L.A., the main card on this huge card. So he's on the spotlight, did not fucking fold, had a game plan. And gave Terrence Crawford a run for his fucking money at 154. So, very impressive for Madrimov. And, and he looked good. Those early rounds, I thought he won uh, the first half of the fight. And then Terrence Crawford ran uh, at the end, ran off with the win at the end. But, um, yeah, Terrence Crawford had to work to, to make it very... Um, to, to make it look like he won the fight. Now, I think Madrimov low-key... He could have won the fight. It should have been a, a split decision. I don't know how it was. Uh, what what was it? A majority or uh, unanimous? Before I'm talking my dumb shit, right quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it was a unanimous decision. I'm right. I'm right. And uh, I don't think it was. It should have been a unanimous decision. You know, uh, when you look at the stats. Total punches landed. Uh, Madrimov had a higher percentage landed, even though Terrence Crawford landed more, but had a lower percentage. And um, <clears throat> I thought he did good, bro. Like he he was giving Terrence Crawford run for his money. You could have told the weight difference was a big impact on this fight. And um, Terrence Crawford, he showed why he's one of the best, but he also showed. That uh, it's not the best thing for him to to want to fight somebody like Canelo even at 160 or 168. It, it's just not ideal for Terrence. I think this is the highest weight that someone like Terrence Crawford should go to 154. There's just no need to go higher than that because there's just a big difference, bro. Imagine Moff look huge compared to uh to Crawford. Sorry about that. And um and like I said. Madrimov just gave a, a Crawford a good run for his money. And, and that's all I really can say. You know, for Madrimov, I don't know what's next because these guys get these big fights. But then we don't really know what happens to him. So I just hope Madrimov, they take care of him. I'm pretty sure he got a huge payday, so he'll be more than happy. But uh, I'd like to see him with, uh, like just to see him fight some big names out there and, and just see what he's made out of. And uh, for Terrence Crawford, I mean, the, the question is, and, and the hope was, that Terrence Crawford walks his guys walks his guy down and dominates him and calls out Canelo. But after that, Terrence Crawford had no, he had nothing to say about Canelo, you know. And 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 you people can say oh he was being humble or or whatever. I don't know what people are saying because I didn't really see too much on socials. But Terrence Crawford made it very 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 clear on the Rogan podcast. That's all he talked about, and in other interviews. That he wants to fight Canelo. He wants to fight with Canelo. And he wants to fight. He made it super, super, super fucking clear. And the fact that he didn't bother to call out Canelo last night. It, it goes and shows and tells you. That he may not want that fight no more. Because he, like I said, he was very, very vocal. After this Earl Spence fight that he wants Canelo. And before this fight got announced, he wants Canelo. We're going to make it happen. We sent him an offer. We gave Canelo, we offered Canelo 10 mil, whatever the number is. But after the fight, a close decision. It should have been a split decision, not a unanimous. A close decision. Even if Madrimov would have won, I thought that would have been fine. Terrence Crawford doesn't bother to call out Canelo. 
That I I don't I don't see that fight being ideal. If I'm Canelo, I'm taking the fight. Let's fucking go. After that performance, and I know I can't judge Terence Crawford's uh, performance t- to this one to how he would look against someone like Canelo. But if I'm Canelo, sign me the fuck up. Give me a few more mil and let's make it happen. At 168, 165. Canelo's not, I don't know if Canelo goes down to 160, but he's definitely not going to one, nowhere near 150. Whether it's 54 or 58, whatever. He ain't, he ain't touching 150. You get Canelo maybe low 60s if you're lucky. But we all know Canelo's been at 168 for a while. So like I said, if, if I'm Canelo, sign me up. Sign me up. Ask for a few more mils. Sign me the fuck up. Give me Terrence Crawford right now. After that performance, and I'm not trying to talk down on Crawford, but I'm just speaking it how it is because, like I said, the the weight discrepancy from Majimov to Crawford, it was huge. The only reason, not the only reason, but one of the big reasons why Majimov was in this fight was because of his weight and, like, those heavy punches that he would land. And don't get me wrong, his movement... And his, his uh, footwork was it was nice in there. And, you know, he was able to set up some nice things together. But, um, yeah, like, that's if I'm Canelo. And don't get me wrong. Also, too, Crawford has some really, really nice moments. And he showed why he's one of the best. I, I think Terrence Crawford, I think I've said this before, that he's one of the best combination. Um, what do you call it? Best combination fighters out there right now. Like, when he throws combinations, dumb hoes are nice. And it's just not like a one, two. It's like a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like it's it's a few, it's a good amount of punches that you finna eat when he throws a combination, and they're fucking sexy when he does. But we only saw that in the last few rounds, and I thought he should have done that early on. So, oh, what the heck? But um, you know, it kind of it's a very tough win for for Crawford. You know, I thought he was gonna make it very clear that he was the better fighter, but it was a close fight. So we'll see what happens next with Crawford. And um, I saw someone say something so stupid about that Earl Spence. Some like, comparing the Earl Spence thing because I think he said a, a rematch with Earl Spence. He's like, no, nah, that ain't happening no more. And I don't know why people are still crying about that because Terrence Crawford completely demolished Earl Spence. So people need to shut the fuck up about that. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. That fight was awesome. The whole card was awesome, and I just can't wait to see more uh, of those. Uh, Rahad or Radad season cards and I'm excited you know that someone's out there willing to pay the money to make these fights happen and and that's you know it, it sucks that that's what it had to come down to to get these big fights but I'm just happy that that we're getting them as a fan so I'll see you guys in the next one come below what you guys thought about the fight